Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Holly. Today I have a personal plan with me to share with you and I'm actually going to be planning in my personal traveler's notebook using these Annie Plan week on four page inserts. I have yet to try them. They're very similar to like the so much crafting week on four page or they're pretty much the exact same. If you use a ring bound personal planner, they just don't have holes. It's just all connected. Um, so hopefully you personal, uh, plan with me lovers uh, will get your fix here. I know I haven't done one in a while on my channel. So I am excited to try these out. Let me go ahead and pop them out and then I can keep chatting. So I mentioned in last week's Traveler's Notebook plan with me that I've been having a hard time kind of figuring out what works best for me to plan on the go. I've been struggling with that for a long time now and I'm still kind of struggling. It's there's like a weird combination of it works. It definitely works better for me if I can plan if I can do more of a plan as I go style, which is kind of why I stopped doing the videos for a while. But I've noticed that like when I get busy, which is really when I need my planner the most, that I honestly like don't sit down every night to do it, which is not ideal. So I'm trying to figure out like what sort of mix works for me. I'm gonna try and do this pre-planning in these inserts this week. And then I might use the leftovers if I have time every night to do my like timed, daily grid ones. Let me show you those. Those are the ones that look like this. Um, and those are the ones I used for the plan with me last week. Um, but so if I have time, I'll use those. But if not, then I have this pre planning here. I don't know, we're gonna try it um, and see how it goes. So I next I do want to do a habit tracker. She only has one. I'm glad her new kits have more because I kind of need more. I don't think I have another uh, color. Let me see in my samples. I don't have any other that are like go with the colors of this kit. I only have like pinks and yellows and I have like a weird phobia of mixing styles of habit trackers. Like I don't want to use one from another shop. So we're just going to leave that as is. And then I want to use this weekly ombre to tr plan out my Instagram posts for the week. I know that seems super nerdy to some people, but um, that is what I need to do. And anyway, so that's kind of where I am on the personal insert front. Let me know if you guys like seeing this. Um, and I'll try to, if I do, if I am able to do any sort of plan as I go, I will try to share that on Instagram as well. Also, did I show you guys what kit I'm using? Did I just like jump into the plan with me? I'm using the March mystery kit from Little Miss Papery. Um, it's succulent themed, it's awesome, it's super pretty. I don't think I showed you guys this kit. I think I just started talking. Um, so it's really, really nice. I loved it. I included it in a haul. And then there was this extra sheet from My Newest Addiction that I'm gonna pull in as well. So. Let me go ahead now. Clearly, I am don't have my head on right, and I'm going to go ahead and get into this here. Okay, so I am working on my sidebar still. I am laying down a piece of washi with a this week layered over it, and then I'm using one of the checklists, or not the checklist, the weekly ombre, uh, and then I am just using some of the bottom washi since I wouldn't use it in this spread since here the columns go all the way down to the bottom and there's not really space for the bottom washi. I just used it kind of as just bigger strips of washi because this there is a fair amount of sidebar in here because you have both the flap and then you also have um, that little this week column as you can see there. And underneath the flap I am putting a list that I'm calling adulting. Again just layering some washi under the header just to add a little bit of color on that flap. And then I am separating two lists using more of that bottom washi and my exacto blade um, and then I was like I had like accidentally stabbed myself with the exacto blade and I got like a little blood on my planner guys um, planning is a dangerous sport I'm kidding um, anyway and then I'm using a final list there for work and just taking that header to match and then I realized I still had more sidebar area to fill. Um, oh, I'll come back to that. But first I'm doing my date covers. I loved all the date covers that included with this kit. There were some from the My Newest Addiction sheet too, and I could not decide which ones to use. Um, so I, but I, I finally picked this one and I am just laying those out there um, across the top and they fit really well in the Annie Plans in, uh, inserts. And I like that there's already kind of naturally some white space between that and then the little um, start of the column. So laid those down first. And then I was trying to decide how I wanted to do my checklist. I did want to have kind of checklists and full boxes like I would in a normal spread, um, but I couldn't really figure out how 
um, whether I wanted to do white space or not. Um, I ended up going with the regular heart checklist instead of the um, ombre heart checklist. And the thing I was just doing there was counting. There were only seven headers. So I was trying to figure out which one of the headers only had one of them and putting that in the middle of the week. Although it doesn't really visually matter as much when you're doing like a week on four pages as it does in the Erin Condren. In the Erin Condren, I really like my colors to be like balanced going out from the center. But here, there because you're switching in the weeks, it doesn't really matter. Or switching midweek, um, turning the page, it doesn't really matter as much. Anyway, I am going ahead and laying those heart checklists down and I just created like a to-do section at the top of each um, of these columns for myself there. And then I decided to do with the full boxes, I wanted to um, figure out a way to incorporate them but still leave plenty of room for my today section. So I decided to bring them down a little bit farther there. You can see I'm bringing them down beyond the line of the column um, and that was, you know, there's no reason not to do that because it's not like the, the line is showing. So um, I'm just bringing those down a little bit and I'm just using my undo. For those of you that ask, undo is basically the stuff you can buy on Amazon or at Michaels and it allows you to remove your stickers without um, tearing up your page and without ruining the sticker. You can re-stick the sticker. It's magic but um, highly toxic I'm sure. Um, and so I'm just laying these full boxes down trying to put the more decorative ones or the ones with like the succulent terrariums on dates when I have slightly less to do. Um, just because I wanted those particular ones to show a little more. And then I had to go back and then I realized I had that extra sidebar section that I hadn't really filled in. And so I decided to use that for dinner and for my YouTube schedule. Um, and so I'm taking a piece of washi at the top and then I realized it was like a little too thick. Um, so I'm gonna cut it in half, one of these in half with my X-Acto blade, excuse my frizzy hair. Um, just to make a thinner strip there. And the nice thing about the Little Miss Papery checklist is that because they are seven hearts, you can actually use that like a weekly ombre. So you'll see, I think at the end when I go in and fill everything in and with pen, I actually just do for like the dinners one, for example, I go M dash on the first line for Monday and then second line T dash for Tuesday. So um, I just kind of use those like extra weekly ombres, which is nice. And then at the bottom, I am putting my, um, YouTube schedule and I'm bringing that one down all the way to the bottom just because I wanted to uh, try and squeeze in a little to clean section in the middle. Um, so I am taking one of the Little Miss Papery checklists and cutting it down. There were some shorter checklists on the My Newest Addiction one but those were like a little bit fatter in the hearts and so that wouldn't work. And then at the top I decided to use that little cute hello sticker that always comes in Little Miss Papery uh, kit so I just white it out behind it and put that in and now I'm putting that little green checklist in. Everything barely fit but we made it work. Um, so I like that. Super functional. You can get a lot of list making in there, which I actually really like because often, um, like really what I use for my carry around planner is just for like a ton of reminders and list making. So it's nice to have those within the week as opposed to like in a different section of my planner. So Anyway, on to, um, back onto the, my weekly spread, I just sectioned off basically a today section underneath the to-dos by just laying the header there and just kind of treated that as a combo today little things section. I'm not going to use those little list headers because I just felt like it would add more bulk and I didn't and everything could just kind of go under the today section. So then on Monday... I decided to start out um, with a quarter box and I am grabbing one actually from the My Newest Addiction. These are uh, round or squared off quarter box and I just thought they were cute. Her, the My Newest Addiction paper felt super nice. It was like a premium matte, like a, it was really, really nice. Um, and then I took the sneaker was from my Little Miss Papery little workout sampler. And then I took a little, um, little bow paper clip from Fox and Pip and that's in a haul I don't think you guys will have seen yet. Um, so I'm being a bad YouTuber here. Um, and also that little flag, uh, bow flag down there is also from Fox, Fox and Pip. And I'm using the paperclip one to mark down changing my contacts. And then uh, below that I took a flag with a little uh, icon over it to label that I needed to um, mail my trunk club. And then below that I used the flag to note down that I had a bill due. And then on to Tuesday, I had an exercise class, so I'm taking a half box from the kit and 
one of my favorite Crafts by Towie little workout girls. I have so few of these left and I love them so much. I need more of them. Um, and then below that, I'm taking a TV from the kit and marking down that Brooklyn Nine-Nine was on that night. We're so behind on Brooklyn Nine-Nine, but I keep marking it down on my planner because I really want to get caught up because I love that show. And then finally, I wanted to take the Daily Chore sticker there. It didn't show up that well though. So I probably, it didn't, like it wasn't great, but I used the Daily Chore sticker there to mark down that I needed to pick up the house that night because we had a cleaning appointment the following day. And then on to Wednesday, I'm taking the little paw print little thing to note down a long walk with my dog in the morning. Honestly, I walk her most mornings. I don't really need to put that in the planner, um, but I just wasn't working out that morning. So I was gonna have a little bit more time. And then I also took the little bow paperclip and the clock, the cutout clock from the kit. The bow paperclip is of course from Fox and Pip to march down, mark down a cleaning appointment. And then I layered the date night sticker over kind of over the full box to note down that we were doing a happy hour uh, at the the theater because they have half price drinks and then we went to our date night which was um seeing guardians of the galaxy which was awesome we had such a blast i loved it it was so much fun um and then i'm taking at the bottom that we had a uh our or we had a bill due and i just i didn't like the way i wrote it initially so i put it on one of the fox and pip flags instead and then on to Thursday, I am taking again a My Newest Addiction quarter box and layering a Little Miss Papery. Those are from her like multicolor workout icon sheet over that. And then I wanted to note down that my husband had an HOA meeting. So I am taking a little arrow from the, oh no, first I'm taking the little remember from the My Newest Addiction sheet. I thought that was so cute. I love that little like remember with the little heart. And then I put the trash can next to it just to note down to remember to take out the trash. And then I did take that little arrow sticker for my husband's HOA meeting. And then we did have one final bill, bill due that day. So I wanted to be consistent and I used the flag again from Fox and Pip. And then on to Friday, I definitely wanted to note down that the PBC sale was starting. So I took another one of those flag paper or uh, bow paper clips from Fox and Pip. I thought that was so cute. And then I am deciding to shift the two. I realized I had a few things to mark down on Friday and I didn't want to cover up the quote box. So I am shifting the um, two boxes there um, so that I don't cover up that quote box on the Saturday. Um, and then I am also adding a little me time sticker. Oh no, first I'm adding the payday sticker from the kit. And then I'm grabbing that me time sticker from the kit and just putting that up there. And I'm layering a little Fox and Pip Girl over it just to add a little bit of color there since that was white on white. And then the final thing I'm adding on Friday is a little happy birthday sticker. These are also from Little Miss Papery and I haven't used them yet, so it was nice to pull those in. And I also layered the little balloons in as well, but I realized I had to bring it up a little bit, so I'm just moving it up to mark down one of my close childhood friend's birthdays. Um, and just writing that in and on to Saturday. So on Saturday, we had another exercise class. So I'm taking one of those quarter boxes from My Newest Addiction and then a little kettlebell icon from that little Miss Papery sheet. And then I'm layering the little cutout grocery cart from the kit over a flag to mark down getting groceries. And then I'm taking the cute planner that was on the My Newest Addiction sampler and marking down planning and filming. And that was really all I had going on, at least pre-planned that day. I ended up having a busier day, um, which is like I had an appointment end up coming up and then I couldn't fit it in. That's like the kind of stuff that drives me nuts. But anyway, um, on to Sunday, I wanted to go to yoga in the park that morning. So I took just one of the strips of washi from the kit and layered that adorable little crafts by Towie yoga girl over it. And then we had journal club that afternoon um, with uh, for brunch. And so I am grabbing, I put down a half box from the kit and I am grabbing a little Fox and Pip girl that's reading because I had to remember to read the articles that we were going to be talking about. And then it was um, payday for YouTube. So I'm just taking a little Fox and Pip bow flag or page flag or what do you call those flags? Yeah, again, and layering the little icon, the money icon next to it from the kit. And then finally had some TV shows on that night. So I'm just taking a TV little thing and using that at the bottom. And I also wanted to bring in a few other little of the icons that were in the kit. So that's the little Instagram icon on the My Newest Addiction. I wanted to use the weekend banner. Um, so I layered that kind of up top. Sorry, you're a little off camera for that. And I had put it too low initially. So now I am bringing it up a little with the powers of undo. This was a very undo heavy spread. I just kept screwing up. Um, 
laid that down. The, the white space made it pretty easy to fill that in. And then I'm taking the laundry day sticker also from the kit and putting that in my to-do list on Sunday because it was too cute not to use. And then, then I'm using the little Fox and Pip laptop girl to just kind of fill in some space. And I'm taking some deco from the kit, these adorable hanging succulents. I love those. And I also had a succulent from the little um, Fox and Pip, uh, or no, yeah, from a Fox and Pip sheet. And then I'm also just layering in some more deco. So that is pretty much it for this spread. Give this video a thumbs up if you like seeing these week, week on four pages plan with me's really helps me know what you guys like to see and definitely subscribe to see more plan with me's in general so thank you guys for watching and i'll be back soon with another video